does and don'ts of wedding favors. In case you're arranging a wedding, you've presumably perused a lot of articles that offer unquestionable requirements and must dos regarding arranging your large day. One thing that isn't a flat out fundamental wedding favors. To be forthright, they aren't fundamental or required using all means. So in case you're on a strict financial plan, don't feel constrained to go through cash you might not have on an enlivening church that will probably wind up in the waste. In case you're picking between something that will upgrade your visitors' insight and wedding favor, we suck as picking the previous. In case you are determined to share a little demonstration of your gratitude with your visitors who went from all over to celebrate with you, these are the do's and don'ts you should know. Here are a few proposals from wedding merchants who have been there, seen everything, and lived to tell the story of wedding favors fooled up and those done right. If you are just searching out a wedding favor thought since you sense that you need to, at that point you're in an ideal situation skipping them totally. You're now getting your visitors a night of fun, supper, beverages, and moving so a splitting blessing isn't needed. Try not to feel terrible on the off chance that you wind up short on schedule or a financial plan to assemble the ideal kindness. Is it a significant expansion to the wedding? Tartly. Will the world reach a conclusion if individuals don't leave with some help? Not. Paula Ramirez, Historic Manca Mansion. That being stated, if you need to give your wedding visitors some help, there are many cheap wedding favor thoughts to consider. You could give them something little and eatable, similar to some sweets or a treat. It need not be anything detailed, only a little badge of your affection and appreciation. Possibly offer courtesies on the off chance that they make them intend to you. Gone are the days when your visitors HAV need to leave with something close by. Some help is something to be a memorable thing about the wedding by and a blessing to the visitors. I vote that encounters are a way preferred courtesy over something without significance. Alex Chark, Tailored Events. Chalk likewise recommends using a litmus test for your wedding favor thoughts. On the off chance that you don't have a wedding favor thought truly speaks to who you are as a team or communicates a one-of-a-kind aspect of your character. At that point consider moving your kindness assets to another aspect of your spending plan. What would you be able to accomplish for the visitors to cause them to feel more great or include another component of fun? Move the assets to an action, for example, a photo booth, exaggeration craftsman, sonnet craftsman, or paying the band to get familiar with your school battle tune. In case you're feeling against favor on account of the waste viewpoint, think about a gift out of appreciation for a most loved foundation or course. A beneficent blessing is an important blessing, so ticks that checkbox. Particularly on the off chance that you pick a foundation that implies something to you, by and by. Remove a page from this current couple's book. Kevin Dennis of Fantasy Sound Event Services shared an account of a couple he worked with whom skipped wedding favors and rather give that segment of their financial plan to good cause. The lady of the hour oh, and lucky man didn't care for giving some help that their visitors wouldn't use and would presumably discard. So what they did was the lady and husband to be each picked their preferred cause, and they gave the planned measure of cash between the two foundations. There was a wind, however, the visitors really picked what level of the planned sum went to which noble cause. There was a table by the darling table that had two containers on it to speak to every cause, and the visitors decided in favor of their preferred foundation. In case you're expecting giving an eatable wedding favor, Paula Ramirez alerts you not to make them yourselves. Couples consistently think little of how bustling they are the seven day stretch of their wedding. Unfortunately, Remember newness regarding something you are giving your visitors to eat, so you can't deal with this tedious venture a long way early. Contingent upon what the thing is, most consumable courtesies normally should be made and bundled the day preceding, or even upon the wedding. Romero says you probably will wind up without time to prepare and bundle favors yourself the day preceding your wedding. It might likewise be a test to enroll your loved ones, as they are additionally liable to be occupied with other pre-wedding errands. On the off chance that you have your heart set on eatable wedding favors, consider redistributing that venture for your own rational soundness and the mental stability of those nearest to you. That being stated, if you recruit a day of organizer or full administration organizer, this is an errand you could pass along to them, while as yet setting aside a petty cash by buying the provisions yourself. We would propose adhering to something exceptionally basic if you intend to go this course, 
similar to a sweets buffet.